Computer Forensics Hardware Computer forensics in this section is to be understood as hardware forensics and the extraction techniques associated with these technologies. This is what is commonly referred to when discussing digital forensics, although by now you have learned that the field is much more dynamic. Computer forensics is the process of extracting valuable data and information from computer system hardware, such as hard drives, removable media drives, laptops, desktops, and other hardware associated with computers. This is usually done through physically accessing the hardware being investigated and using special tools to extract valuable information. One of the most important aspects to consider during this process is the preservation of data. If data on an information system is destroyed or lost, it is no longer able to be analyzed by investigators. If the data is changed during the investigation process, then it can no longer be trusted in a law enforcement setting. Because of this, investigators will almost always copy the data from the devices and then analyze the copy to preserve the original. Computers can provide a very large amount of data even after they have been previously wiped. This can include images, image thumbnails, metadata, audio files, video files, text files, and much more. These can be filtered and analyzed through a forensic tool such as autopsy, which can allow the investigator to search volumes of data to find specific files that may help the investigation. These files can include valuable information that may prove to be valuable intelligence in a military, law enforcement, or business setting. Advantages of Computer Forensics Computer hardware forensics is one of the most valuable practices that an investigation team can engage in, especially during law enforcement activities. Unless very strong security measures are practiced, data can be accessed on modern computers which are packed with enormous amounts of valuable information. If forensics investigators are able to gain access to a computer, they will be able to determine whether or not it was used in a crime or specific activity. In addition to this, it is also highly probable that they will find much more information about other related activities. If forensics are being analyzed in a criminal investigation, this will likely lead to valuable information such as additional suspects, locations where criminal activity takes place, details on criminal activity, and so on. Even if information was deleted from the device, there are tools and methods that can recover this data, or parts of it. Disadvantages of Computer Forensics Computer hardware forensics is an important field of study for law enforcement, government, and business. However, one of the biggest disadvantages is the reliance on physical hardware. For example, if a criminal used a computer in a crime and investigators were able to recover this device, then it would prove useful in the case. However, if the computer was not recovered or inaccessible due to damage, then it will not be useful for evidence collection and analysis. Because the data is located on a physical device, it makes it easy for criminals to destroy computer-based evidence in an attempt to evade authorities. If this data was stored somewhere else, such as the cloud, third-party records, and other non-local places, then the evidence would be preserved. Additionally, it may be difficult for investigators to break passwords and other security protocols to access the data on a device. In many instances, the encryption can be broken using brute force techniques and other methods using digital forensic software and cybersecurity tools. However, if this is not possible, then the data that is able to be collected from the device will be limited. This does not mean that the acquisition of the device will be completely useless as information such as serial numbers, MAC addresses, screen size, model type, and operating system can still be used during an investigation to make inferences about the criminal activity that took place. Types of data collected. Everything that is stored on a computer can be recovered during a digital forensics investigation under the right conditions and if the proper tools are used. This includes parts of deleted files or the entire files themselves, depending on how and when they were deleted. During the process of the forensic investigation, an image file will be created, which is an exact copy of the physical hard drive. 
This file can then be analyzed using powerful tools like Autopsy or FTK Imager to discover digital artifacts and hidden files on the computer. In addition to obvious files that contain evidence, there are many other types of obscure data that can be useful in an investigation. For example, the metadata attached to image files can provide investigators with detailed GPS data, timestamps, and other pertinent details. Forensic acquisition of internet browser activity can provide details about websites that were visited, usernames, emails, passwords, and much more. Additionally, data such as the System Resource Usage Monitor can be used to gather general application data and network connectivity data. This data source can provide investigators a detailed view of every Wi-Fi network the device has connected to in the past. You will learn this technique later in the program. Computer Forensics Examples Computer forensics is a growing field of study within law enforcement. As technology becomes more prevalent in our society, so does its value to law enforcement investigations. Small mistakes made by criminals can leave big clues that help investigators find dangerous individuals and organizations engaged in illicit activities. One example of this is the case of the BTK killer, who was an individual that killed at least 10 people and remained unmasked for decades. After these attacks, the killer would send cryptic messages to police to confuse them and to horrify the public. In 2005, the killer sent a message to police using a floppy disk. Unknown to him, this disk was later exploited by digital forensics experts within law enforcement to reveal the true identity of the killer. This information quickly led to his capture and arrest. Another example is the Craigslist killer, who was a psychopath who lured unsuspecting victims through the online marketplace Craigslist. The killer found his victims on the marketplace and communicated with them through email using a pseudonym. Through analysis of email communication, police were able to discover the IP address of the killer. From here, they followed the evidence until they were led to a small apartment complex outside of Boston. This information combined with a physical description of the killer allows law enforcement to positively identify the suspect. After conducting surveillance and a short vehicle chase, the killer was apprehended and charged.